Ladies and gentlemen, hello and good morning, good afternoon and a good evening to you all. Welcome to this evening's stream, the grand finale, we hope, possibly, of Ukulele. It's been a long time coming, it's been a very long road, country, ho country homes take me place to where we belong and all that sort of stuff. It's been a long, it's been a long journey, but I think that now is the time for us to seize it and get the victory that we know we deserve. <laughs> we had um we had a stressful one yesterday. A little bit of a stressful one yesterday. We went to finish off Spyro the Dragon 3, Year of the Dragon, and it was very stressful. This is, these playlists are like, they don't have a shuffle. There's not a shuffle option for this, so we always get the same tracks over and over. We're not listening to Winter by Alpha Squad anymore. This is outnumbered blades drawn. Um, yeah, we had a bit of a stressful one yesterday trying to take out Year of the Dragon. The three-hour stream turned into a near-to-five-hour stream. <laughs> All because of one level. I looked it back in editing, and the booby level we spent about half an hour on. And the skateboarding track in the bonus game at the end that made me very angry we spent about an hour and a half on <laughs> which is not very good at all not very good at all but that was yesterday that was yesterday today we are now on to something bigger better brand new harder better faster stronger it's gonna be the conclusion of ukulele howdy jay i hope you're not driving I hope you made it to work before you decided to tune in. To those who had something to say yesterday, I have shaved as well today. I have shaved. So I'm back to, back to baby face today. Sitting in the car, engine off. That's good. That's good. Safe driving. Very important. Uh, well... <laughs> Let's not let's not dilly dally. Let's not shilly shally. Let's not wait around any longer. Let's dive straight in to our ukulele adventure. Wait, what? Sitting in my car, engine off, not driving, as is the case. Good. That's all I can ask for. There we go. We're back. Start. Take me in. So. 22 hours, my goodness me. We are, however, very near to the end. We haven't got much left to do. There's a couple of loose ends to tie up in what I have been assuming, for the most part, is the final level. And then, presumably, some kind of final boss. So, hopefully it should... A resub with Prime for eight months. Thank you so very, very much. Enjoy the continued use of our all of the emotes that we have available. Very much appreciated. So. I need to turn the music down a bit. We're not in casino night anymore. We don't need the loud music. So. Here we are in the Galleon Galaxy. And last time we wandered about gathering various pages that we needed to do. Gonna head in already. Have a wonderful evening at work. I hope it goes as well as it can for you. And I will see you in the morning. Beautiful. What a landing. Nice and smooth. So we did actually take down some of the pages, but there are still some bits and bobs left to do. And I'm going to just take a quick second to try and get my bearings for where we are. So I can work out what it is we have and have not done. Okay, well this is we can start with this one right away. So we've got this fragment right here. And what we need to do is gather the other fragments which are all hanging up on balloons. We only gathered one, maybe two of them uh, in the previous episode. So now we need to try for the rest. 
So anywhere where there's balloons floating around, I can see two over there. And those both look relatively accessible. And then I know there's another one behind us as well, so we can go for that one also. Other than that, there's not much else to do. How much... What have we actually got to get in this level before we get too deep? So, 14 pages, one health upgrade... Oh, no, wait, this is the total. My, my, my mistake. Just for this level alone... 12 pages, 1 health upgrade, 68 notes, and a couple of ghosts as well. Okay. That's not going to be too bad. Oh, yes, we spent most of our time here on the Jetty Sun. Or the Jettison. It's a joke. It's a pun. This game's full of them. Of questionable quality at times, but not much can be done. So I think we need to sing at the balloons to pop them so that the treasure chest falls down and that will allow us oh, the camera angles are awkward there we go it's down <clears throat> excuse me and that will be our pagey fragment yes there it is just going to have to try and get in and snipe it. Well, we didn't do too well there, though. We did take the damage. You know what? That uh, Still missed. That was all sorts of incorrect, but never mind. <laughs> never mind. I need some help, though. I need some health, more importantly. Will you give me health? Probably not from down there. Oh, you will, though. Yum. I'll take that. Did we go on the pirate ship last time? I can't remember if we went on the ship or not. Let's have a little nosy and see what's inside. We may have done the ship. I think we went in at one point. Captain's cabin. Yes, we did indeed do in here. However, I can hear some monsters, so maybe this will be an opportunity for us to recover a little bit of health. Such as these guys, right here. I'll take them. Yes, please. Thanking you so very, very much. Still. As we progress onwards with our adventure. How is everybody doing this evening? I hope everybody out there is doing well. I hope your day has been, is going, or will go wonderfully. Everything's going very well over here for me for the time being. Oh, there was a musical. Not there was a feather in there. Good to have. Good to have. If you haven't done so already, maybe you'd want to consider giving the heart button just a little tap, so that then you follow the channel, get notified of whenever we do other live streams in the future. Doesn't cost anything. You can always unfollow at any time as well. But I wouldn't recommend doing that. <laughs> now, where's next on our list? More balloons, I think. We need to... We need to gather more of the pagey fragments. And I think our next one's got to be all the way over there. Oh, there is one over there, too. Let's maybe start with that one, as this one appears to be nearer. So we launch ourselves into the sky... We just gotta try and get nearer. Before all of our energy runs out. Oh, nicely done. Let's go and grab that. I think we did everything on this island last time as well. So we should be caught up for just here. Great. Uh yeah, we got the geckos pagey. There is this, so this over here, this planet's ring kind of tilted a little. So I think I need to have a little a little investigate over here and see what this is all about. I don't anticipate that it's a surface that I can walk on. So we're going to fly. Okay, well the good news is we haven't actually been here yet. 
the feathers everywhere indicate that to me quite clearly. Let's maybe start with this giant section in the middle. Oh, I need something to just weigh that down. Hmm. Okay. What's falling from here? Oh, okay, that hurts. Can I eat whatever's falling? No. Okay, and the... Uh, th whatever's falling hurts itself, so... Still not ideal. Maybe we can sing? No. Eat it up? Eat it up? No. Hmm. Okay, well... That mystery is just going to have to stay a mystery for a, a quick couple of minutes while we work out what else I need to do here. Do I maybe have to bait this guy into coming and standing on the button for me? Are you going to come and do that? No. He's not interested in that. Have I maybe got to lead these guys up the... Uh, up the thing here? Don't fall back to sleep. Come with me. No, I don't think that's going to happen either. That doesn't seem like that's part of their coding. We may have to come back to this. But that's okay. Let's see what's going on over in this grand old tunnel. Got arrows leading me in, so it can only be good news. Space Cog Station. Oh, look at this! Turns out it was not good news. The set piece looks incredible, however the giant fires on the floor have got me concerned. Okay, the time begins. Oh, they're air current. These are air currents, aren't they? Okay, those are air currents. I didn't and I didn't get that at first. They looked like giant fires. So I think we've got to do this challenge without actually touching the floor. That seems to be what's going down here. So oh that's a downdraft. Okay, so we have got to do it without touching the floor. And the fact that there was a downdraft caught me off guard a little bit. But we're ready for it this time. We know it exists and we can account for that. My health is in a very bad spot. It may be more economical for us to just kill ourselves and then respawn back at the entrance. But we'll persevere anyway for the time being. Oh, grenades! Are these going to be important? I may just take these. <laughs> Instant fail. <laughs> I may take these just in case. Up we go, up we go. There we go. Now, not through, not through the downdraft this time. We've got elevators to the sides. So maybe this is what we need to do instead. Apparently not. Okay. Hmm. Okay, that's got me a little bit stumped. I might be able to find something, though. Because part of me reckons that we could just fly through most of this. And I might just give that a try. I'll do I'll do this bit as the as the developers intended. But then we will come back. Oh okay. Just to get around the downdraft. Oh that that wasn't it. 
Where's the next ring? Oh, it's up there. Oh, I didn't actually go through the next ring. Okay. So now we've been through it, we just get away from the downdraft. And kind of cheat it a little bit. Oh no! Dang it! Good evening, Rach. How are you doing this fine evening? Thank you very much for the early bit drop. Here to watch our glorious victory. At least in theory. It's kind of tough to tell with the depth perception where everything is. There we go. That's definitely a better way to do it, is to just fly through rather than... Rather than, you know, do it the way the game devs want us to. <laughs> oh no! But you do, uh, you do stand to lose if you cheat. Still, we wouldn't cheat if they didn't make it possible. And they should have made the intended solution a little bit simpler. Amazing, got a chicken katsu curry. That sounds really, really good. Could do with another chicken katsu, actually. I've not had katsu for quite a while. Okay, go around the downdraft. A little bit of a cheaty way of doing it, but... Who's going to tell? Something like that. Oh, there was another lift. Okay, now where do you want me to go? That one there, and then over to here. No bother. No! <laughs> so close. Went to Sainsbury's to, for pizza, but it called to me. Did you did you make it, or was it like ready made, or was it from the uh, from the counter? I have to know. This time, I'm just going to not even bother with the other lift there. We don't need to. There we go. Easy peasy. Oh, yeah, that's that's the stuff. There we go. Make it, make it, make it. It made it. Some of that. Very good. And the last little bit. Oh, yeah, that. Ladies and gentlemen, is how you do it. Now, it's one of the ready meals, one that Wasabi does. Oh, I see. The one near me has got, like, the uh, sushi counter and things like that. I was wondering if it was, like, from there or if it was sort of boxed up, boxed up microwave meal. Or what have you. Katsu's a good shout. Yeah. Okay, I think this is a Cave Johnson moment. We're done here. So let's move onwards. Let's get out of the Space Cog, Space Station, Cog Station, Space Land and move on. Sainsbury's... Oh, yes, I remember you saying it was just uh, it was just local, local branches. Nearly knocked, nearly knocked the T flying, which would have been an absolute disaster. Good quality RGB keyboard, straight out of the window. PC monitor, PC tower, straight out of the window. These jeans, straight in the wash. This chair, wrecked. My phone, gone. There's so much valuable stuff just dotted around my thighs that if I were to spill one good cup of tea. That would be the end of the end of my modern living as I know it. And a perfectly good cup of tea. Wasted. That is also a fair point, but also ranks relatively low on the priority list. <laughs> Forgive me. Oh, okay. I know that that may ruffle a few feathers. Oh, hello. There's somebody in this one. Oh, it's making the noises. <laughs> yep, 
it is still on the list. I do like how the, the speech for this character is, like, pained groaning. <laughs> We've got to go fix some plumbing. Hello guys, good evening to you Morgan. Thank you for the bits. How are you doing today? Are you feeling well? Are you feeling rested? After yesterday's... Uh, yesterday's marathon? Okay, down into the sewers we go, I suppose. This is going to be wonderful. Space plumbing. Well, I mean, at least it's not Conker's Bad Fur Day sewers. That is definitely NSFW. At least this is a bit more innocent, but even still. Little sore still, but just downloading the VODs. Oh, nice. I looked back through the... Okay, that's not correct. Okay, and that's bad for us. Okay, shield time. That's not shield time, though. No. How do I activate my shield? Okay, there we go. Right, so by the looks of it, what I need to do is extend the pipe. Somehow. So that the water can pass through fluidly. Pun may be intended. Need to edit them down into the segments instead of uploading six hours. Yeah, it's a bit of a it's a bit of a marathon to uh, to do that. <laughs> I'm working on. Oh, I've got the uh, the Spyro one from yesterday. That one is now rend rendered, and it was halfway through uploading before I started streaming. But it was a long time. Do you know we spent about an hour and a half on that skateboarding mini game yesterday? An hour and a half. Which is outrageous. There were definitely some moments where I... I lost sight of the real objective and got very, uh, very cross. <laughs> you may remember it. But I'm grateful that it is now done. Oh, good. Guessing that wasn't the best bit. Oh, it really wasn't. It really wasn't. That's why, that's why I was so late over for the, uh, for the raids, Morgan. I was, uh, I said at the very start, I was like, right, we will beat Spyro and then we'll go and raid Morgan. He's doing his 12 hour stream so it'd be nice to pop in, say hello with everybody. And when, whereas I would normally have wanted to finish at 10pm, the game just insisted on being difficult and so it kept us going until 11.30. It made me cackle. I'm glad. I'm glad it was at least entertaining but my goodness me, kind of there were there were some definite moments. There were some definite moments that were not very good. <laughs> and watching the watching watching some of the insanity that went down, some of the unfair stuff. It's not hard to see how I got so angry. <laughs> but we do not have to play it again. We're done now. And we can move on to Pastures New. Or at least we will be able to once we are done with ukulele as well. You guys timed it right, otherwise you would have come into Five Nights. That was the point! I wanted to come and see you doing some Five Nights at Freddy's. <laughs> Why did you not shield up? Look. Ukulele, you and I need to have a chat. We are not going to have a repeat of yesterday, okay? 
So, hold your ideas together. Keep yourself in check. And we won't have any issues, okay? Okay? Okay. Does that work? Goes through. Goes through. And up. Hey, we did it! Alright! Oh, oh, yes, it's flashing! Ah! Oh. Hey, and there comes our golden paper as well. Fantastic. Let me out of here. Let's move on. Have I thought about playing Little Nightmares? Uh, no, I have not. I've heard of it. I know the second one has just come out. It looks... It looks like a very pretty game. The, the, the artistic style of that game is very pretty. In its own way. And I don't mean that in a kind of, yeah, it's pretty in its own way. I mean that like as in the look of that game is very unique and it does look very pretty. For the kind of artistic style that it is. And I'd probably be down for that. It feels like a suitable horror game. It's, I mean, it's not necessarily horror. What is the point and purpose of this? Can I do anything with this? I don't know. So, up until I get to the end of the level and find that I'm missing something, I shall elect to ignore it. <laughs> oh, 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 and drop! Not quite, never mind. Let's try and go for the spring jump instead. That's how you do it. Uh, I'm rendering my first stream of FNAF, so if you want to see me almost have a heart attack, that's the one to watch. You can count on it. <laughs> Think you'd like it to say, oh, Nick, you should play FNAF? No, 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 no. We've already, I've already nailed that one shut. We're not doing that. That one, that one's not happening, okay? <laughs> Uh, it's a puzzle platform game like Limbo, if you ever... I've never played Limbo, either, for my sins. However, uh, I'm aware of I'm aware of that kind of game. And it, again, it look, it's a very unique-looking game. Hey, up, team. Hey, up, Sean. How are you doing this evening? I hope you're well. I hope your day has gone well. So there's still something I'm missing about this thing here. And I'm not sure what it is just yet. I feel like it's a suitable horror game for you, like one you'd actually enjoy. Because I think it's like, it's more, it's more of a creepy game, isn't it? It's just creepy rather than, um, rather than, like, a horror. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Okay, that's not how we get in there. It's got something to do with the... this here, I'm sure of it. Oh ho! Oh ho! Oh ho! Hello! Oh, but the balls are the balls are dangerous as well. Excuse me. So I guess we use our our shield to sort of push the ball. This is why I don't play sports games, by the way, everybody. Unless I can tail whip it around, you can't tail whip it around. Can I sing it around with my voice? No. Okay, so it is literally... Right, okay, it is what it is. And what it is, is that. What's been going down? In Funky Town. Two hours of pain. <laughs> hey friend, good evening, Nay. How are you today? 
It's eerie. Has some jump scares, but nothing like Outlast. You know. Yeah, I'm I'm not down for jump scares anymore. I've... You guys have tormented me with jump scares enough. For some actual unnerving, it sounds quite good. I think uh, it's all it's all for consideration. Now that we are going to be two games light in our schedule. It's definitely uh, up for up for up for dis discussion, up for debate and consideration. All good. Thursday is the worst day teaching wise. So glad it's all over. Oh no. Well, at least it is over. At least there is that. And tomorrow is Friday, last day of the school week. Little chance to uh, relax. I keep on uh, I keep on going onto Instagram and I'm like why hasn't why hasn't Nay posted about her day yet and then I've remembered it's like oh she's not teaching from home anymore. <laughs> there's there's no no more insta insta vlogs. Ukulele are really difficult to control in this state. I don't know if that's apparent, but we're getting there. We're getting there. Just one more nudge in the correct direction. Sorted. Oh, that's unfortunate. Mercifully, I haven't got to do that again. That's incredible. This game is so generous. Thank you. <laughs> Plus two lovely classes on Friday as well, so it's all pretty chill. That's good. Have I decided what I'm going to play next? Um, no. I haven't. I haven't really given it much thought. I think that's what I'm going to do. I'll probably spend some time on it tomorrow, maybe. I'll, I'll have a little look through what I've already got in my library. What some of the stuff that other people want to see. And all that kind of stuff. I'll, I'll give it some thoughts. Let's see. There's a chance! So you're saying there's a chance. Please, Little Nightmares. Little Nightmares? Maybe. Do you know what? I think... Well, maybe. We'll see. How about Jackbox? Jackbox I would like to do. However, the... It's not really a downside with Jackbox. The thing that's putting me off of doing Jackbox right now is just the expense. Because the packs are quite expensive and I don't know if uh, if I'm down for that just yet. Having said that, I think Jackbox would be a really good option once I've returned to work. So I'm not I'm not going to completely rule out doing Jackbox nights and stuff because every Jackbox stream I've gone to has been a, a huge amount of fun. So there's definitely there's definitely a draw to doing that, but I reckon it's probably going to be a good shout for once I go back to work because it's something that I can just use to fill a couple of hours, just to remind everybody that I still stream. Does that make sense? So I don't think I could necessarily make a full evening out of it. However. By doing something like where I've got a couple of hours before I go into for my shift at work, I go, right, okay, well, let's just do two hours of Jackbox before work and hang out a bit. Something like that, you know? I think that's what a Jackbox night is, or a Jackbox stream is really suited for. So I'm not going not gonna to rule out Jackbox, but I don't, I don't know if it's quite right just yet. Stardew Valley. Hmm. Stardew, I have got it written down on the list from the last time we polled requests. I've got Resident Evil right there. I don't think Little Nightmares is scary, it's more atmospheric. Yes, atmospheric is good. It's a good idea. I feel like you need a game that isn't so happy. I don't want a collectathon game. We've done two... Well, no, we've done... 
essentially four collectathon games in a row: three Spyro games and ukulele. I don't want a collectathon. <laughs> Uh, the first four for £25 on Xbox. I think it's the same on Steam. But, um... It's... Just kind of... It's similar to what I was saying yesterday about another idea I have for the next... Sort of... Ongoing project, if you like. So Spyro and Crash were ongoing projects because they were three games long each. So for, my, for the next time I do an ongoing project, I have an idea for it, but that's going to be quite expensive as well. And so what I want to be able to do is just kind of uh, be able to account for the cost in terms of my own finances, I guess. I don't, I don't know if what I'm saying makes sense, but hopefully it does. <laughs> so Stardew might be quite good for just a sort of something chill. However, games that are less happy. Inside Rusto. Hmm. Okay, can't eat that. I can, however, lick a battery. Again, remember, don't lick batteries. Not advisable. And again, Stardew might be a similar... Might be a similar thing f for Jackbox as well. That would also be quite good for... Oh, I've got to check in, just see how the farm's doing. And... Spend a couple of hours tending to my crops and things. I don't know, I don't know. They're all, they're all very good options. I'd love to play some Star Wars games, but the problem with doing Star Wars games is that DMCA are going to be right on top of it. <laughs> So we'd have to play Star Wars games, but muted. How do I set fire to the braziers? I can't remember. It's had an update recently as well, has it? I see. Anyone see the new Java snapshot? I did see the new Java snapshot, and it looks very, very good. As with every Minecraft update that's coming through these days, though, right? the problem is it's like... It's, Oh, they take so long to make and introduce so much stuff. But by the time they come around, I have no idea where to even begin with them, you know? <laughs> Wind? How do I set fire to this? I know that that's what I've got to do. I've got to make the air hot. Hmm. Wind? Like, wind that has a dem demonstrable effect on, on the game, or is it just kind of like aesthetic wind, so stuff just rustle, like bushes just rustle? Is it like rustling leaves, or is it stuff like, am I actually going to get blown into a giant ravine by the wind, is essentially what I'm asking. Where... Maybe there's some fire flowers around here that I can use to light the brazier. Hello. Not noticing any. What's the deal with these big balls? Not sure. We'll come back and have a look at those. Oh, I think I spy a secret. That looks like it could be a secret under there. I'm going to have a look. Nope, it wasn't. going to be running OpenGL 3. Leave some water move. Oh, okay. Interesting. Can you use the fire? Got I, I, this doesn't let me breathe fire. This just makes me fireproof. So the only th other thing I can think of is that maybe I can, I just have to walk on top of the brazier instead and do it that way. 
Which isn't entirely unfeasible. That could be it. Let me in, let me in. Hey, there we go. It was simple as that. Simple as that. There we go. We sorted it. I just wasn't doing it correctly. Story of my life. <laughs> there we go. Fantastic. Okay, now, in the words of the guy who announces the lottery each week, let's go and check these big golden balls. Where does this take us? Anywhere important? Oh, hello. It's you. Did we already do this? I know we have spoken to this person before. Okay, we've already, we've already done that. We've already done this mission. Beautiful. That's what I like to see. That's what I like to see. Past me was so efficient. So if I can take a moment to just be super duper vain, right? I went out and I, I bought a new face cream today that's supposed to deal with like redness and uh, it doesn't actually look so good anymore. But like it's really brought down the redness on my face. Normally I've got like, like I've got really rosy cheeks and really a really red face. It seems like this cream's really kind of brought that down. So I'm loving that. I can't remember what it's called, but it's it's really good. <laughs> anyway, just a small little diversion. That's that's not me fishing for compliments though, but if you want to pay any, then uh, much obliged. <laughs> it was just a little diversion. Uh, what's the most exciting... What is your most excited feature that's coming? Ooh. Um... That's a good question. I'm... See, I don't... Hmm. I'm intrigued by... We get it, you're beautiful. Especially now I've shaved, right? See, I'm intrigued by all of the new blocks that are now coming. Now I've taken up more of an interest in building. I'm... Very intrigued by all of the new blocks that are coming. And also like it's kinda of, it's kind of a shame that it doesn't that the the world I'm building on one more block at the moment doesn't isn't gonna have those terrain features because getting some of those colossal mountains in behind my base would be Absolutely incredible. That would be a great place to put the Overlook Hotel. But alas, not this time. So I think that's what I'm going to have to sit with for now. The idea of wireless and audio activated redstone feels very confusing and I'm not sure I'm ready for that yet. But we'll see how it goes. <laughs> Uh, where's another pile of balloons for me to shoot out? To get access to another pagey. Are they over here? Oh, they're all the way over there. That's fine, we can do that. Babyface is back. Thank you for the bits. Beard is always better. Oh, I don't know. I don't really like it. I don't really like my beard. Yours would be the Warden and Dig Sites. Dig Sites are quite good. Dig Sites are quite a good feature. I'm inter interested by those. Anything that just makes the world feel a bit more lived in and gives a little bit of sort of history to Minecraft is good. A little bit of additional world building, I'm always down for that. You'd be very upset about the state of my face. <laughs> Beards really suit some people, but I don't think every face looks right with a beard. That's a fair point. And why would you want to cover up such a gorgeous face? 
I don't want to cover it up. Unless it's cold outside, then it's uh, then it's a scarf job. But yeah, I agree. Some people do beards, some people don't, and I don't believe I am a, a beard person. Certainly not a full beard person. Nothing more than stubble or like five o'clock shadow or something like that. Three out of three. We've got them all. Let's go and reclaim our newly reformed pagey, wherever that may be. Over this way, I think. True that, I just like beards. Azalea wood is coming. Ooh. It's like hair. Some people really suit long hair and other people don't. I'm unsure what to do when I can finally get my hair cut again. Yes, I can do it my I could do it myself. I can do it myself is a bit of a overstatement. Or rather, I, I certainly can do it myself. Whether or not I should is a different question entirely. But I want to keep growing it out a little bit longer. Having said that, it probably could do with just a little tidy up, you know? Especially on the sides. We can make it whole again. Like, on the sides, I'm quite long. I'm having to kind of pull hair from behind my ears to in front. So... I think it just, need, it just needs a little bit of pruning, shall we say. I can't imagine not having a shaved head anymore. I... When I... I know that when I met you, you, had, you didn't have a full head of hair, but you had certainly longer hair than you do now. And... I've known you with a shaved head longer than I have with... without. Morgan, I'm already losing my hair at 22. Come to the dark side, shave it all off. That's what Jay does. Jay shaves his head. I think it was, um, just longer than chin length hair when we met. Yes, that's right. Yes, I remember. Um, but yeah, I believe it was, uh, the streamer Northern Lion, who is famous for many things, one of which is being bald, uh, because he'd lost all of his hair quite young. Or began to lose it when he was quite young and so just resorted to shaving it all off. And he was like, you know what, I would rather shave it all off and look, be happy and look good rather than try and cover it up and spend ages worrying about it for it to happen anyway. Sometimes it's the right call. Each person's different though. A year before that it was shoulder length with extensions. Been looking at a lot of weeks though. Ooh. Like, I can't, rem I can't imagine you with hair any longer than how it was when I first met you. Shoulder length feels, like, almost absurd for you. <laughs> there's some definite whistling, so there's definitely something of interest for us nearby. I'm going to assume that it is in... The... The black hole in one. Oh god, is it a mini golf mini game? Oh, okay. I've got a picture I can send you. Okay. Black hole in one. Oh, we're playing we're playing golf, I think. Okay then. Hello. 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 Please let me speak to this person. Hello. Blurp. Welcome, gentlemen. Uh, lady and gentlemen, actually. Come on now. Yes, we want to play golf. I'll be playing Toad in the Hole if you're not lucky. Oh! Allow me to bestow the rules of. Oh, this guy needs. Uh, this guy needs Bentley's voice. Allow me to bestow the rules of space golf. Rule number one. Tee off with a forceful swing. Reptile rush move is recommended. Rule two. Transport the ball to the hole before the timer runs out. 
rule-free, appropriate dress wear must be worn at all times. Failure to comply will leave us with no choice but to release the security team to dispose of uncouth offenders. I'm off for a shower, catch you guys and gals later. Morgan, thank you for stopping by, thank you for the bits as well. Enjoy your shower, enjoy your evening, and we'll see you soon. Okay, so we're just playing some more golf. We did this in Casino Night, it's just now we're playing it in space. Give me some of that. There we go. Send it down. You got two and a half minutes to get it to the end. And I think we've failed. Okay, we did fail a little bit. Come on. I know it's said to use the reptile rush move, but like, that's gonna just make things kind of cumbersome, I feel like. Give me a sonar bomb, activate all of them simultaneously. That's how you do that bit. Uh, excuse me. And then the ball goes through there. Very nice. Onwards and forwards. Keep it going, keep it going, keep it going. No, oh, we've gone wide, but the windmill! Oh, the windmill could have saved. Could have saved it, but alas. Not this time. In we go. Go on. Is this what it's like to play football? Oh, there we go. Cheesed it in a little fraction there, but it's okay. Okay, down it goes. And then we just got to spin it around the edges here. Get it in the hole. You get in the hole. Easy. It appears we have a winner. Victorious couple, come and collect your piece of parchment in the cage at the top of the golf course. Thank you very much for participating in the event. Is that it though? Like, There's nothing else to do in here? I'm kind of curious, is there anything? Like, did we miss any music notes? Or feathers? They're not music notes in this game. And music notes in Banjo Kazooie, which we're now obligated to play at some point. There's gr there's a there's grenade power ups here. Is there, is there a reason I'm likely to need these at all? Oh, to blow away some rocks, perhaps. Okay, the giant the giant orcs are just impervious to everything, it seems. Oh, hello. There's a new button. And it stops the windmill. So we, we just made that difficult for ourselves. But we still nailed it. That's fine. I don't think there is anything else in here, though. I don't remember anything else. Take a little moment to have a look, though. Nah, we're all good. Let me out of here. So that was the black hole in one, won't you come and wash away the rain. Black hole in one, won't you come, won't you come. We're done. Beautiful. Now what's next on this level of dreams? I think it's got to be this little... Uh, resort right here. It looks like a strength test. Well, I am more than willing to demonstrate. I can hear whistling. Okay, and this is... Okay, the cannonballs are going to make us heavy enough to beat the strength test game. There's another toilet here. Oh, the toilets are for the eyes to bring to life, it seems. You just keep on going, huh?
Get out of here. We got it. Now, let's start down at the bottom. Hello. Greetings, welcome to the Galactic Strength Test, the ultimate test for wannabe recruits. We're not recruits. If you're strong enough to make the ball reach the top, then you're ready to claim the golden artifact and officially become a fully armed whatever, he said. Usually we don't consider aliens, but you look the right shade of green. What do you think? We'll give it a go. Test your strength, just hit the platform as hard as you can. Don't forget to give it your all. Just, just for humor's sake. Yeah, who knew? I could hear harder than that when I was spawn. No bother, no bother. I have a plan. Hercules, Hercules, Hercules. All right, now we've eaten a cannonball, and we're a big, strong lizard. Mm. We're going to nail it. Oh, still not there. Almost there. Okay, so there's another layer to this. So we've probably got to climb higher and higher. To be honest, it's probably going to be more economical for us to fly up rather than actually climb up. So I think that's what we're going to do. No, leave my accidentally be. Wow, I can't type today. <laughs> Alright, let's try again. Cannonball. Launch. Surprisingly, we can still fly with the greatest of ease. Alley up. Okay, well that probably would have worked if we hadn't have gotten caught on the lip of the land. That lesser known prodigy album. Hey, there we go. Not sure that should have counted, but happy to take it. Good blazing Blamphibian! Don't ask, don't tell. We are fully qualified war machines. Thank you. Nothing to do with the bell there, though. Cool. Oh. Yeah, whatever. Close enough. I'm not sure what else we've got left to do, though. Hey, Nick! The native bagel! Good evening! I had to take a second to remember what time of day it is. How are you doing, friend? Are you alright today? Has life been treating you? Please tell me you're not still working on the rooftops in this appalling weather we've had the past couple days. Alright, I'm a bit stumped. I don't know where else we've got to go. I feel like we've done mostly everything and been mostly everywhere on this level. But yet there's still some stuff for us to find. Yes, we've been here and done this. How much more have I got left? Five pages, 14 feathers, two ghosts and a butterfly. Well, we're not done. Still got a lot of work to do, and not much time in which to do it. I say not much time in which to do it, we've got like two hours to do it. We'll be fine. And a partridge in a pear tree. Yes. Luckily not, you've been indoors. That is a relief. I was going to say, like... <laughs> to, I, you would not be able to pay me enough money in the world to have been working on a rooftop in this weather. No chance. Today and tomorrow off because I'm in Devon for funeral. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Ooh, don't buzz. Oh yeah, no, I'm so I'm sorry to hear that. I um, hope it goes as well as it can tomorrow. Mm. 
where else am I going here? Other than nowhere. Did we do Rextro? We did do Rextro. We did go to the arcade. That was the... Because that was the clicker copter game. We beat Shovel Knight. We went into the asteroid. Oh, do you reckon I've got to be the boat again? I think I've got some stuff to do with the boat right here. I think that's... Yes, I think that's going to... That's what's going to open up some doors for us, is I need to change back into a boat so that we can blow into the side of this structure. Have I actually been in this structure in any capacity? I don't know that I have. Let's have a little poke around in here and see if there's something for us. Well, it doesn't look familiar. So let's see what awaits us. Oh yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is new, we haven't been here before. Oh man, what is this that you've got me working with now? This is just a giant maze to negotiate. Before we deal with that though, let's just get a little bird's eye view, see what else is going down. Oh, this is good. This is huge. There is a page at the top though, which is what we need, but Oh, and there is the heart pickup as well, right at the very top. Okay. Okay, so we've got quite a bit of work to do here, I think. Let's see what we can do. Can't go up first. So if you can't go up, you go down. You got a button? Is this going to be timed? This is going to be timed, isn't it? It's timed. It's a timed button and everything all of a sudden underwater. This is going to be close. This is going to be close, but we're there. Fantastic. That was close, but we did manage it. Now you got some more for me? Yes, it's it's more water. Okay, we don't want to go down. The arrows on the wall did tell me that, but I needed to have a little look, and just, just to double check and see. Uh, come on, push it! Push it real good! Did we do it? I mean, I presume not. Okay, we've got to retry that. Enjoy the rest of the stream, team. I'm off to hopefully finish the main game of Borderlands 3 tonight. Alright, have fun. Enjoy. I hope you win. Okay, I feel like I've nailed down the swimming controls a bit easier now. So, does that have to actually go anywhere? I think it just needs to sit in there, so I won't worry about it. That gives us the pagey, and then we need the extra heap of water to uh, get up into the top. Or do you? No, you don't. You can just fly. There we go. Full heal. The final butterfly piece. We now have all of the health pickups in the game. Which is a very beautiful place to be. Rude. Bye. See ya! Uh, how does one get out of this? Maybe by 
doing a little something something. No. How do I get out? Through here? No. Um, huh. Oh, hang on, hang on. A little something like that might help. Ah, uh, there we go. As soon as I work out how the button works. Sorted. And then I can't get out until the timer ends. Alright, well, let's just, let's just wait it out, I guess. Let's recorrect my fringe. There we go. Lovely jubbly. Alright, we're done. We're out of here. Hydration break, good idea. Tea's going to be so cold now. Fortunately, fortunately, I had a backup plan. Okay, cool. So we've nailed that. Uh oh, so we've nailed that. Now I just gotta get out of here. Easier said than done, apparently. Fantastic. Let's try changing back into the boat and see if that lets us access something else down on the bottom there. If I can remember where to transition into a boat, I think it's all the way over this side. I think I see it in the distance there. However, after that, I'm not sure what else I've got. I'm ready. Transform me, Doctor. And a full heal as well, thank you. So I think we've got to melt down a heap of these boulders blow up a heap of these boulders. And then we went dead ahead. That's been dealt with. Now, over here. This way. I'm going to let myself into the side of this big ball. See what secrets it might transpire unto me. Someone laughed. Oh, it's one of the, it's the ghost. Hello. Hello. This is one I just have to chase down, right? I can't actually do anything to stop it. That's fine. We've done it. Doesn't even matter. Brummy Jake, good evening to you, friend. How are you doing this evening? Are you well? Has today treated you nicely? Hey, there we go. Secret exit unlocked. Anything else for me to find? We may as well do like a little scout out of the place while we're still in the boat. Ah, 
I like the uh, the pirate remix of this song. That's the fastest boat I've ever seen! Not bad, considering it's made out of a lizard and... Oh, hello! What is this creature? I guess we should say, ho say hi. Hello there. Evening! Nice night for a sail, eh? <laughs> Sometimes I like to skim the surface of this cosmic shore. Looking a little low orbit, though. Say, you look like you're packing some hefty cannons there. I've got an itch on my back that I just can't reach. Perhaps some pesky microbial life trying to evolve. I know a guy who had a bad rash of them for a few millennia. Awful state of affairs that was. Reckon you could blast it away for me? I'll be really very appreciative, and it'll give me an opportunity to waste even more time with superfluous dialogue. Don't worry about making a crater. My girlfriend thinks they add character. Well, oh, good for you, sir. This would be a lot easier to fix if you... Oh, God. Oh man, I can't believe we're doing it. Is this okay? Do I now need to put a... I think I need to put a mature content on this stream now. Did we do it? Oh, hurry gents. Blast this itch away. Well, yeah, we'd be much better at it if you stopped moving while we were trying to conduct the procedure, sir. You're welcome. Oh god. What on earth am I... What is what is going to happen now? Oh, we killed it. Oh. That doesn't sound good. Oh my good god, it's the Majora's Mask Moon. What have you done to my Mooney? He was my rock. Oh my. Prepare for annihilation, you lousy pilot. I'm going to be your cataclysmic event. Planet. <laughs> Toasted right away. Cool. Works billions of years on my crusty complexion. Okay. Cool. Alright, we're now playing Toho. This does not feel like the intended way, but there we go, nevertheless. See how you deal with the meteor shower. Alrighty then. Give me what you got. If in doubt, just keep moving. What's this over here? I saw something. Oh, it was just shrapnel, I think. How did we know to shoot them? I don't know. Call it a fourth wall break. There's there's no way to really easily control this, so you've just got to kind of hope you don't get hit. At least that's 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 my overriding experience of this. But we're getting there. We're getting there.
Just gonna get in and try and do this one quick. Nope, you can't. You can't do it quick. Well, I mean, this this is gonna end before with my death before it does with hers. There we go. Cool. Ready to start that one again. No health pickups throughout all of that either. You got me in a very unmaneuverable boat. I've got to shoot this asteroid in the rear again to start the boss fight. Please just... I just, I just want to skip this. I've got to sit through this every single time. <laughs> Why don't games understand that... Like... I don't know, you've got to try and... Keep the player entertained a little bit. And the more you break the pace, the less entertaining it is. Should also maybe throw in a health pickup every now and then for your boss fight as well. Especially if you're going to have them play as a really unmaneuverable boat. If only there was like a option in the in the game to be able to turn off snarky dialogue oh well never mind enough whinging let's just face this boss fight get it over with and hope that it's this is the end of it i can't skip it i can skip everyone else's speech <laughs> Oh, it's not even fire for this one, is it? It's the explosions. Come on! We're doing better than last time, though. Just get in there quick. The aim was to get in there quick before we took damage, but that that was obviously a bit of a bust. I'm not quite sure what hit us there. I destroyed the the bit. Never mind. I don't know, nor do I care. <laughs> that was fair. Super fair, thank you. Got some meteors coming in, I saw them. Thank you. End it, end it. Thank you. Still not done though, huh? Maybe a uh, maybe a health pickup. Please, just like one butterfly to improve my longevity and chances of survival. Okay. Not quite sure what you want from me here. Shoot the explosions in her face, I think is what I got from that. Final hit point, so... It's over. Let's do that again! The boat just isn't manoeuvrable enough for this. It hasn't got a strafe. Made worse by the fact that you want me to do this every single time as well.
I'm not a game designer, but I've got this. I've, I've, I'm designing. I'm designing better games than the de developers are. Couldn't get used to strafing yesterday. Now you want it back. You don't realise what you've got until it's gone. It also, admittedly, doesn't help that I can't remember which. Uh, which button does which elemental weapon. It also doesn't help that when I shoot the pulsating glowing orbs with the correct weapon that it doesn't actually register the hit either. Please! I would just, I just, all I want is the ability to skip dialogue that I have already seen. I don't care what else the game does, just please give me that. Or at least make it so it types out quicker. Like, if you could at least destroy the projectiles, this boss would be better. Please! <laughs> Just... Go quick! <laughs> if you're not if you're not gonna make the dialogue skippable, make it entertaining. I'm gonna break the controller by by doing this though. I should probably stop. Great, there we are. Yep, a little bit more of that. The boat isn't manoeuvrable enough. Honestly, ukulele, you want to take the the award away from Spyro already? Spyro's not even had the uh, worst gaming experience ever award for 24 hours yet. How? Like, that's just an instant hit right from the off there. That's it. End it. End it. I don't even care what she has to say. I just don't want to do the boss fight. Get out of here. Good grief. How unfun. As has been the case for most of the boss fights in this game, I think. Okay, that's done. We got a pagey out of it. Thank good for that. At least, at least it was partly useful. Okay. Anything else for me to do as the boat? I feel like I'm going to regret asking that question after that, but I... I think we're boated out, so in that case, let's just end it. That'll do. And that's, that's a perfectly acceptable death, because now we'll respawn somewhere with 100% health. Not only will we respawn somewhere, we will spawn directly above where we need to be. That is the real pro play.
not propane, pro play. It was all intentional, it was all part of the plan, that was what we were going to do all along. Alright. There's definitely a page in here. Can't do anything with anything though. Got a button for me. Hmm. What? Just sent me a photo that you forgot existed? Uh oh. Why though? Oh, is it a kind of... It was supposed to be something like that. Gotcha. Okay. More or less there. I can't wait to see this photo that you forgot existed. Got distracted by my old Facebook. Back now, though. If I step off this, does it close? It does not. Fantastic. Take some butterflies. Oh, is this a sonar bomb? It is! For the first time in forever, we have destroyed an ice block with a sonar bomb. And this is another speedy one. Thank you. And then this is going to be another one, right? Not a jump! Never mind, never mind, never mind, never mind, never mind. Let me through. Thank you. Hmm. Seen a lot of verticality in here, so maybe some flight will help us out. Anything to find? No. Just going to zap me into oblivion. All of the oblivion zaps. Okay, and that's another speedy run. If only there was a way to tell. That's that's what's missing here. Now I've just got to wait for my health to refill. Great. Perfect. They can't reach me. They're fine. I'm still missing a ghost somewhere, which is what's concerning me now. Huh, okay, well we don't want that button then, we want the button down below. Not a jump! Not a jump! Oh wait, all the all the droids left. Well, that's okay then. Now where am I? Still the adventure continues onwards. And that lets me get the page. They're not the ones you are looking for. No. Don't fly! I always press the wrong button. Alright, that's another page. And then you got another feather for me. Are we nearly out on the feathers as well? Not quite. What do I need left? 
literally one feather. That will give us another page in, and I think we get another one for the ghost. Huh. And this game doesn't have sparks to tell us where we've missed one. Oh, I can see the feather. It's right at the top. Posture check, thank you. It's right at the top of the ship's mast. It's all the way up there. You... All the way at the top. I see it. Let's go. Hopefully the ghost might be up there as well. Is that too much to ask? Probably. I heard a whistle. Okay, that's that. I wonder if it's in the crow's nest? It's not. I heard a whistle. It's definitely nearby. The ghost that I need. What colour is it? Okay, it's the it's the red one. It's the uh, it's the angry one. Where are you? Let's go back to flying for a second. Okay, so this is where I came from. And it was as I went this way, I began to hear the whistling. Unless it was pointing me towards the feather? Which is possible. When you say you see it, was that about the feather, or was that the ghost? The feather. Ah! Darn it. I don't think we ever really explored in this section on foot. Maybe the ghost is in here. Please, I'm not helpful. Of course you are. I may have to look it up just so we're spared flying around the entire level. Just hoping for a whistle. I will do a quick fly around though, just to try and find it under my own steam. But I am ready to look it up if need be. And need may be.
Or maybe the ghosts don't even whisper. Uh, not whisper, but whistle. That's the one. I'm gonna take a quick look over at Shovel Knight's Island over here. If nothing surfaces over here, then I'll uh, I'll look it up. Now the other thing as well is that there are super secret things to collect. Because I remember we just randomly found like a Mumbo's token in the Glitter Glaze Glacier. I'm not interested in that, unless it's gonna force us to get those. Not interested. Let's have a little look-see. Let's see if we can find where this is with a bit of help. Otherwise, we will be here all night. Uh, what's this one called? Uh, Galactic... Or, no, Galleon Galaxy, I think. Uh, ghosts. There you are. The Ghost Writers. Where are they? Oh, uh, Red, Red is in the golf course. Red, Red is in the golf course. Fine. Easy peasy. If not for the fact that it is on the complete other side of the level. Easy peasy. All the way over there. I know we've got all of these tunnel transport systems in place, but this is just so much quicker. Look at that. Easy on one tank of fuel as well. Let me in. There was me whilst, whilst we were originally in this area. There was me saying, yeah, we got everything. There's nothing else here. Apparently there is. Apparently he's up in that bit up the top there. So let's just go and grab it. And indeed, there it is. I don't get why this is having to be made a bit more complex with the fan, but whatever. <laughs> I can't ever remember how to get this guy. Do... It's not a sonar one, it's not an attacking one. Well no, it is an attacking one, but it's only at a certain point. The fan is just an entirely unnecessary addition, but there we go. If I could fly, I wouldn't use any other means of transport. Exactly, fair point. Okay, let me get out of here first of all. And does that mean we are done here? 25 of 25, 200 of 200, 1 of 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 1! We have got everything. More or less. I am missing two pages. And they're both in Hivery Towers. So we need to go and find those. I can never remember whether we actually need to finish the level normally. Or if I can just quit out. And then come back to the overworld. So we'd better just do it normally. Although, it, it says, doesn't it? Your progress will be saved. Oh, well, take me back then. Never mind. Never mind. Why would I put in all that extra effort to walk back when I can just... Save and quit. <laughs> Alrighty. So aside from two pages... 
We've got everything. And I don't know where those other two pages might be. There's a tunnel I can go down that's apparently too toxic for me to breathe, but I also can't use the shield to go down it. So I'm not sure what else to do about that. All I'm going to assume is that by going into Hivery Towers here, this is where we'll come across the next two pages. I don't want to miss out. I'm going to look that up as well, just in case. Morgan's back. Welcome back, Morgan. Feeling refreshed? Let's have a look. How's the game going? We're nearly there. We're nearly done. I think. I, I'm cheating, yes. Okay, we got one from the cannon. We did that. We got one from the mast. Did that. We got the one from the statue. Yes. We got that one. We got that one. We got that one. The broken glass. Yes. No, wait. I think I did that one as well. The arcade cabinet. I think we've done... Yeah, we did that one. High pipes, I think we've done. Windswept, I've done that one. The poison tunnel, yes. Oh, that is the... Okay, fine. Okay, so yes, there are two. And I know where they are. I am cheating, but for the sake of us all, and now relaxing with a cup of tea. The best way to be. I could do with another tea, but it's it's not important. Right, so I need to find where we were first taught how to fly. As well as the tunnel. that we apparently do need the shield for. I must have just done it incorrectly. Which is entirely plausible. That's always normally the case. I do it wrong and just assume that the game's broken. You would have thought I would have learned by now, but... Alas, tis not the case. Beautiful. Smooth landing. Or, in the words of Jedi Master Obi-Wan Kenobi... Another happy landing. Just get away from all these devil critters. Sit them all down, refill their health, and then I gotta do some invisibility so that we may sneak through. So I think this is... Okay, yeah, so the tunnel's over there on the right, and Trouser taught us how to fly just here on the left. So first and foremost, let's start by heading over to the tunnel. Bob Ross misquote. Happy little landings. <laughs> okay, so. Shield. Hey, there we go. Turns out this was the way. And there's our pagey as well. Oh, the, the air is still toxic even in that little bit though, so... We should still be careful. Toxic. And sure enough, I'm slipping under. I'm addicted to you because, you, well, you know that you're toxic. I believe this is where we were taught how to fly. Because we need it to progress. I'm on the eye out for a big old poisonous waterfall. Kind of like this one. And here it is. In here. 
Oh. There's a mini game attached. Hmm. Make my way back home. Wait, wait, where? The bed? Make my way back home when I learn to fly. Hi. Foo Fighters. I know. Alright, we got ourselves a P. Ah, uh, ha, ha. Okay. Alley up. Just need to pop all of these, I think. Or at least some of these. Some of these are probably fakes. Oh yes, yeah, some of them are fake. I never know if you will or not. Foo Fighters I can do. Don't worry about that. Now, how does one go and actually get the letters out of the poison? Is that another shield job, potentially? It would have been if the shield hadn't immediately destroyed itself, so I'm guessing that we need to fly after them. Limes like these? It's limes like these you learn to squeeze again. Okay, you're not a letter of the law or otherwise. No, 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 no! Don't do that! Never forget. It's those limes like these you'll never forget. Just want to catch up to the balloons. Let's try and catch it. Let's try and head it off at the pass. Or not. We're now in a good position to catch this other one, wherever it may be. And it wasn't even one. Still, maybe I can uh, use this mistake to grab letters. I can't even do that. Up we go! One more time. And there it is, it's the blue one. This is the one, this is the one. It's out of here! So now, have I just got to try and delicately grab these? Okay, well, this is entertaining. Honestly, just... Let's just suck up the damage. you got one more for me, which is going round again, so we'll just take a quick moment to heal up. And then I'm going out to get it. There you go. Yeah, we got a special jingle for getting all of them, as well as unlocking a brand new tonic from Spongebabs. Thank you for the bits. Let's roll on. Let's go see, go see Spongebabs and then move on and beat the game because now we are full. We are completely complete. This is the total for the entire game. We have gotten everything. This is indeed, uh oh, this is indeed a joyous day, aside from the fact that I now am in pretty severe trouble because I can't make myself fly. So let's just, let's just end this. Seems a shame to waste that outstanding work in such a frivolous way. However, 
it was all intentional because now we start out nice and near towards where we need to be. We got Spongebabs for our new tonic and we're right by the entrance to the towers. What's the new tonic? So we got extra health. Well, we don't need we don't need the hunter one anymore because we've got everything. So we've got extra health, powerful slam, faster regen. Don't need to collect quills. Don't do that. Oh, pants. This tonic is a secret. Okay. I'm guessing that's the one that we've just unlocked. So let's see what the pants tonic is. It gives us some clothes. Well, I mean, it's a better reward for 100% in the game than Year of the Dragon's reward for 100% in the game. However, I think... We should probably go for an additional health, health spot. Thank you. And we do indeed get it as well. Beautiful! Alright. Let's begin! Nice try. Nice try, everybody. Let me in. Here we go. It's the end game. Knock, knock. Here's Dr. Fetus. Assumedly, we need to defeat Dr. Fetus and Capital B. Fancy coming up for a get the heck off my property? <laughs> yes, please, with a slice of give me my book back. Office open door policy is closed unless you've collected, say, a hundred pages. There's only 70 in the game. It is time. Why don't you come up and attempt a hostile takeover of your precious book? <laughs> Laylee, we've done it. Let's do this. Ooh. Oh, it's another quiz. Welcome to the bonus round. As always, I'm your host, Dr. Fetus. Oh, did he say that? I don't remember. I lied. As usual, there are ten questions that need answering correctly, and only three lives. Watch out, contestants. These questions are extra tough. Wahahaha! <laughs> oh, well, good. This Adventures Corporations, which is clearly the best. Well, you go Hivery Towers for the ego, roos, ego boost. That was the toughest question. Double curses, a super quick correct answer. That's a two-pointer. So we get to move forward two spaces. Great. The Hivery Towers hub. How many pages have you illegally stolen from it? Uh, 20. Curses! You're clearly cheating now! And it's another super quick response as well. How long has it taken you to get this far? Goodness sake. Uh, well, it's 24 hours. It was 22 when we started, so 24 is where we're at. That was the toughest question! Like the last one. So we've been playing ukulele for literally a whole day. Capital B's office entrance. How many gold statues are outside? Two. 
Crackers! I knew I should have made these harder. That's another double as well. Last one. Pages, legal property of Ivory Towers. How many do you have in total? All 70. I remember it saying so. Oh! Womp womp. Oops! Player's guides are available. Can't pause to check. Capital Casino. Whose statues adorn the central fountain? Well, it's... Oh! The corplets. There's three. So it wasn't any of the others. I hope you're not looking at your cell phone. Alright, last one. We can do this. Galleon Galaxy. Who's lost at sea? Uh... Nimbo. Oh. Okay. Capital B and Yuka. Who would win in a fight? Well, I guess you gotta go capital B, right? Weakling Yuka. Unlikely draw. Incredible capital B. Why did I make these multiple choice? Now you fell asleep again. <laughs> Impossible! You've beaten the final! Most challenging quackfire quiz! So, good news is we have completely completed everything, we've obtained everything, we've now just got the final bosses to do. I mean, I don't know how, I'm assuming there's multiple bosses, but we're into the closing stretch, hopefully. Fingers crossed. Capital B's office. Here we go. You may need to. Don't worry, the dialogue will make you fall asleep. Yeah, finally, I was about to stick my out of office on and hit the golf course. Oh, I have got an option to skip, but we have never watched this before, so we should probably deal with it. I know who you are, you green goon. You're the pair who have been collecting the magical pages for me. And now you've delivered them right into my hands. Fools! <laughs> Allowing you to complete your adventure has been terribly dull. But, well, <laughs> now it's time to end it for good and complete our sinister scheme. Oh, here we go. The come at me pose. Very well. Hostile negotiation it is. Try to keep up, freaks. Let's do it. Is there supposed to be something in the background that hasn't rendered? I feel like that was the case because Dr. Fetus's jar doesn't blend in with, like, it's got the glitches on it. If I can position the camera in such a way, look, the, the duck's jar glitches out against the... So obviously there's supposed to be something there, but once again, the game can't render things to... Se and the button goes all weird as well. What is up with this? What is up? It's like the black is kind of like... It's like they haven't bothered to put anything there, and everything else is just a rendered texture over the top of the blackness. So as soon as you move anything over it... Like, if you look at the books, they've almost got a sort of 2.5D look to them. In front of the, uh, in front of the black screen. Like, if you look at them in such a way against that background, you can tell that they're just... 2D graphics, not a 3D model. I don't know, it's weird. Definitely a bug, it's gotta be. What's Dr. Feet has gotta say? I accept your terms of mutual surrender. Carry on. I shall do. Very weird. Alright. Let's ascend. It begins and ends here, tonight. Uh, 
Idiots, I can't believe you followed me into my personal pulverization chamber. <laughs> Your time trespassing on our premises is over, cruddy duo. After I've made you redundant, the pages will be mine. And using their power, our organization will rewrite the universe. <laughs> Prepare to witness my impressive short-term growth. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I liked his description as of crowdfunded corporate creep. Let's teach him a lesson. Okay. Let's try. Oh. Immediately being attacked by bees. Not the bees! Okay. Unsure how we do damage to him. Because he's just throwing bees at me. I I can't get near him because then he smacks me. So what am I not seeing here? Maybe run them into him. I can't get near him, he just smacks me again. I can't do anything near him. Maybe... Maybe we got a, like, sonar bomb? Oh, okay, then he gets upset. Sonar bomb the bees away. He gets upset. Give him a give him a couple of smacks. There we go. Okay, there we go. There we go. Same again. Same again. Same again. Same again. Same again. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. We're on. We're we're getting somewhere now. Maybe. This can't be it, though. Oh! Right in the stocks and shares, you know it. Send some corporate back up. No, thank you. Phase two. Okay, I've got some crates now. Oh ho, oh ho, oh ho, there is some flowers. There you go, there you go. You gotta you gotta shoot you gotta shoot ice at him now. Apparently. I don't appreciate that we're not getting health. Feels like a huge oversight in the boss. Up to bed, night friends. Night Nay, thank you very much for dropping by. 
Good night. Sleep well. See you tomorrow. Yeah, possibly one of the biggest uh, the biggest flaws in a multi-phase boss is to not have a way to replenish health halfway through the fight. Not even a full heal, by the way, but just like anything. Just get good. I I understand where you're coming from on that. But at the same time, you you've got to account for everybody who's playing. And like is this is this intended? Is this the way to do it? Maybe. We are kind of doing a bit of damage. But at the same time, like how many more phases have I got and I'm already down to one hit? Having said that, having said that, maybe maybe it's been a little unfair because we did have we did have to learn what to do on the first phase, so maybe maybe it's a uh, maybe it's kind of not justified, but like there's a bit of there's a bit of something there, you know. We we'll know what to do next time, so we'll have more health. But I don't believe that this is intentional. Oh, it is intentional. That is how you do it. This doesn't feel very good on the hands, that movement. Oh. Time to take this boardroom struggle to the next level! As long as, um... Unless it's a case of, like, we can start from each phase, rather than having to do the whole thing over again, but the... The MO of the game has been if you die on the boss, you start over from the very beginning again, so... I am not confident that we will start from here. I am, however, confident that we'll have to do it all over again. Alright, so I've got some poison around the outside, around the outside, around the outside. And then he does that. Alrighty then. Well, at least, at least, I have the option to skip dialogue. There you go. There we are. We've, we've got it sus now. We're doing much better. We can get through this first phase without losing a single health point. That would be incredible. There you go, there you go, there you go, there you go. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. Now we get the snow plants. Oh wait, you know what? We were probably making it really difficult last time. Can I... Hey, here we go. Here you go. This is probably how you're supposed to do this bit, is by being... by actually flying rather than trying to flutter jump. Because then that also keeps you out of the way of the minions a little bit as well. Oh, you see that dodge? That was close, but we nailed it. Oh, he got us, though. We're still in the air, though. That's fine. See, this is a better boss fight than Year of the Dragon's final boss yesterday. They're just running around the arena and, like, trying to get bits and pieces. This is a bit more interesting than that. Just 
just need to keep the fire up a little bit. Oh, it's very button mashy though. Disagree. Double disagree. Come on, can we approach the next phase again, please? Eh. Get him out of it. How many times do you have to hit him? Or rather, how many times have I hit him already? You, I can't tell. Oh, did you just slam one down on my head? Okay. Just gonna run around till I can recharge my snow snowdrops. Oh, friendly fire, nice. Is that it? Is he down now? He's down now. Okay, next phase, next phase, next phase, next phase. Sorry, I was really quiet there. <laughs> Alright, we know all this. Okay, the ceiling opens. Is this the last phase? Nah. I'm sure it's not. <laughs> there we go. So, this time we know he does a belly flop. And we need to jump over the shock waves. We're going to assume at some point the outside will begin to fall. Got his cane stuck, so then we just give him another couple of smacks. There we go. It is normally three phases. However, that remains to be seen. Okay, so now we've got the outside only. Oh, and then he's dropping bees as well. Okay. Okay, so I think the bees are just to uh, keep moving and dodge. As well as trying to dodge the shock waves. Now his cane's stuck again. Oh, uh, okay. No, you do actually need to destroy the bees before attacking, but that's fine. Cutting, cutting even more land off. That's fine, though. I, I anticipated that would be the case. Okay. Oh, right. So now I'm getting. Oh, landmines as well as his shockwaves. Okay. That's cool. I like that. I like that as an attack. Like sending out more shockwaves for, for you to deal with. That's pretty good. So got his reds and then the yellow ones coming from the beehives. This, uh, this particular phase right here, up until the point where I got damaged just then, is quite satisfying. How much land are you taking away from me now? There, there can't be much more to this. We've got to be near to the end now. Okay, all three. Oh, we did the old switcheroo. Sonar to get rid of the bees and then just smack him with our tail a whole heap. <sighs> Time for the capital to soar and release some explosive equity. Uh-oh. Always end up taking yourselves down. Is that a clue? 
What's going down now? Okay, a big old missile. Um. Okay. I think this is a job for flight. There we go, yes, so it was a clue. Okay, okay, there we go. I don't know if I've got enough stamina. Okay, we got him. I've got to, I've got to land. I've got to take a, I've got to try and heal up some energy. Oh, he's shooting out two now. Like, what do I do now I'm out of energy? Do I just have to try and outrun these missiles? You can't. You can't outrun them. It's over. It's over. Time for a redo. Because I've also got to stop to... There you go. I don't know what you do at the end there when you run out of energy. So, I guess we've just got to do all of that again now to figure it out. I... Midpoints, health pickups, come on! Because now I've got to do this all. I've got to do this all again. It's not great. You got a freebie off on us there. It's not great boss design. Okay, well, let's try this all again then, shall we? At least tonight's stream may finish on time, even though it will be laborious. I don't know if I was getting more hits by when I was just jumping up to him. No. Come on, that was stupid damage. We can't afford any damage, basically. But again, it is also just down to learning patterns and stuff. Again, now we kind of know how that, how the next set of phases work. We can take them on with more health, so we should do better. Assuming that the game just doesn't outstay its welcome in terms of this boss. And where we were was the final phase, then that's going to be absolutely fine. It's just if it decides to go, well, it's the last boss, let's just make it 16 phases long. I believe the game could do that as well. Should have waited. Let's 
try do, doing some like this for a second. Okay, he's down, he's down, he's down. Good, all right. Sit up, gamer pose, ruffle the fringe, get ready. Take it out. I can skip the text, but I just wish I could skip the cutscenes. I know, 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 I know. Okay, so what have I got first? Did you just floof the hair for power? I may have just floofed the hair for power. I don't know why we haven't floofed the hair for power before. Maybe that's why yesterday was such a struggle. We just never floofed for power. Okay, good, 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 good. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Destroy some floor. Okay, it is the same bit of floor as well. The bees are a deterrent. You've just got to keep moving until it's time to take him down. Sonar bomb, and then you go in there with a little bit of whip. Maybe a fraction of Nene as well. No, we did the wrong attack. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. No damage. Thank you. Alright, we got some whips in. That's good. Now it's on to the next bit, which is the mines. I think. The fun part of the boss fight. Yes, indeed it is. Over the red and yellow waves. Oh yeah. This bit is very fun. I like this bit. It feels very good to do correctly. It feels fluid. He got arrested for murdering his cousin? Who did? Ooh, close. Could have taken some damage there. Salento, the guy that made that song. I thought that song was done by a, by a female, so... Um... <laughs> oh, I know. No, I'm thinking of uh, whip my hair back and forth. I was getting my whips confused. Ah, that was my fault. I just tried to ride that one out a little bit. Okay, hover, 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 hover. Oh no, oh no. Okay, well it's fine. We managed to absorb a little bit of damage right there. That's Willow Smith, yes. Okay, into the air we go now. I'm gonna wait for him to shoot the missile first. Then maybe we can get some regen here, possibly, maybe. But he shoots it off. Not quite. But we've definitely got to try and do it like this. We've definitely got to try and land between each attack rather than try and soar throughout the whole one, the whole thing. Now he's got two and he starts flying. That's correct. Yes, I remember. Okay, we got one. Can we get the second one in there as well? We can, but I don't know if it counted. Okay, 
Okay, bad, bad play, but we did recover some energy. So I just need to try and make them connect. Uh oh, come on. Okay, we got him. He got charged in February. Oh. Okay, we didn't get the recharge. Well, we did get a recharge, but we can't keep tanking hits like this. Because we don't know how much longer this goes on for. Oh, come on, so close. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Take him. There we go. We gotta go again! Can you believe this? I mean, yes. Oh, and now, now we're on to three. Oh, they're moving quick. Get him, get him, get him! Okay, are we done? I don't know if we're done. I don't want to celebrate yet. Don't celebrate yet. This may very well not be the end. He was only doing his job. You numbskulls. Uh, I can't not look at the horrible background. Oh, plot twist. Dr. Fetus was the true boss all along. Okay. So, does that mean we've now got to face off against the duck? I think we've now got to face the duck. Hopefully at some point this evening, when all this needless dialogue is done, we will find out. Oh no, he's gotten up. Rematch. Can we... Okay, now the now the cannons randomly here. Hurry up. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, they're both gone. Is that it then? Are we, we are done now? All about their secret organization. Phew, I'm much better now, thanks. No harm done, Blasto. At least we finally reclaimed Laylee's book and ended Hivory Towers' evil scheme for good. That magic book's going straight in the safe when I get home. It'll only appreciate in value. Come on everyone, let's get back to Shipwreck Creek and celebrate. That's what I've been wanting to do. Are we done? Are we done? I think we're done. Just a load more dialogue to go. Potentially.
Look at all these characters we helped on our way. Ah, oh, a grand party, young warriors. Oh, would thou mind embarking on a noble quest for more cake? Indeed, all the friends we made along the way. Now, now, let's not argue. We're all here to celebrate the heroic acts of Brave Blasto. One question, fellas. What exactly did y'all do with that unsavory scoundrel capital B? <laughs> Music's great. <laughs> hoo -wee! That's swell. A few more adventures like this one, and y'all will have almost gone and made it as genuine heroes. Oh, Rextro's really happy in the back. Let's kick back and enjoy the massive credit scroll, excuse me. One last fourth wall break, just for good measure. And I guess it's going to be a long one. If that's the case, that gives me plenty to talk about. Oh, you can fast forward, rewind, play and pause. That's, that's interesting. That's an interesting feature. However, I shall do neither. I shall set the controller down to one side. Whilst the credits roll, we can see all the hard work people put in. And I shall now give my thoughts on ukulele. It's a game that I really right. Let's so let's be clear. This was a designed as a spiritual successor to Banjo Kazooie, and when I started streaming this, I was like, I want to try and appreciate Ukulele for its own merits rather than comparing it constantly to Banjo, and. I, I think I did that for the most part. However, I should stress that there was never going to be a universe where this game was going to be better than Banjo-Kazooie in my eyes. Banjo-Kazooie is an incredible game. And this game was never going to come close to touching it in terms of how good it was. And still is. However, I still think... Looking at this, trying to look at it, uh, trying to look at it as objectively as possible, and for its own merits, I don't think that this is a bad game. Uh, have I played Tui? I have not played Banjo Tui. No, is Banjo Tui good? I might look into that. Um, but yeah, I don't think that this is necessarily a bad game. I just think it's very rough. And I think that you it's very easy to tell that it's a, as you can see through this part of the credits, it's a Kickstarter-backed campaign game. It's kind of, I think it's seems to have struggled with a lot of people putting their ideas in and no one really vetting those ideas. Look at all these people called Aaron! I didn't think there were that many Aarons on the planet! Never mind that many that could contribute to the creation of a game. They're still going! How many Aarons? How many <laughs> Aarons are this? We're still on Aaron surname H, by the way. How many Aarons? <laughs> it's still going. Has every Aaron on the planet contributed to this game? 
Was there an Aaron A. Aronson? Let's just... I want to re... Oh, this is going to take a while to rewind back to, though. But I've, I've got to have a look now. Um, anyway, yeah, I think the game was good for... Was, was It was a good game. It was good for its own merits, but there was definitely a lot of room for improvement, and I think it lost its way a lot. There were some very weird design choices. The, some of the mini games didn't really work. And I think that that kind of made it suffer a little bit. Uh, right, pause for a sec. What's the what's the first Aaron that we've got? I'm not including the apostrophes because they they don't they don't count. The first Aaron we've got is Aaron Adrignola. Aaron Adrignola. There you go. The very first Aaron, on the other hand, I worked out how to super rewind, by the way. The very first Aaron is an Aaron Cooper, apparently. Anyway, let's let's skip on back downwards to wherever we got to. It was a, it was about it. Yeah. So I don't think there was, but can pass up the chance to reference off us. Um So yeah, on the whole a good game but not brilliant. I think it could... I've never seen Aaron spelt that way either. Interesting. Now on to the Abdullahs. Oh man, they weren't kidding. This is going to be a very long credit scroll. But this is exactly the point. These are all the people that backed it on Kickstarter. And I wouldn't mind betting that there was a degree of, like, if you donate a certain amount, you get to influence how the game goes a little bit, and it almost kind of dampened the game a little bit, a sort of too many cooks situation. Um, I think it did well considering the source material that it had to live up to. Given how the game had to live up to Banjo-Kazooie, I think that this was a fair stab at trying to recreate that game, but I don't think all of the shots landed. Um... And I think that's going to be the problem. I may put it on, not fast fast forward, but just kind of a little bit faster. Because these are still the backers and we're, we're still on A. Yeah. Adams. So, I am really sorry backers, but you're, you're going to have to just deal with this, unfortunately. Um... <laughs> So I think I think its flaws kind of outweigh its good points. The goods are very good. The soundtrack is brilliant. I would expect nothing less from a game that had Grant Kirkhope's input. The soundtrack is incredible. The look of the game, like some of the detail on the environments and the draw distance, is unbelievably detailed and looks brilliant. Uh, there are some graphics that suck, i.e. The, the black boxes. I don't get it. Um, how fast does it go? That fast. But now I'm missing out all of these backers. So now I've got to go back. Did we make it to Alex's? Last name I remember seeing was Adam, so... There you go, I think this is where we are. So, there you go. Um, so yeah, the great bits about it were really, really good, but I think the bad things about this game were just a lot more numerous, and they dragged it down a little bit. The persistent fourth wall breaks. You do not need to show all the backers. Donating $5 does not make you all that special. <laughs> yeah, but they've not done it in donation order. Some of these people may have donated like $6,000.
Um, just speed it up once more. There you go. There you go. You can still read some of them. So, what was I saying? Oh, I can't remember now. It's completely gone out of my head. I can't remember. Some of the, yeah, the, there were some questionable design choices that I don't think should have made it through. Oh yeah, the fourth wall breaks, that's what I was saying. That is a prime example. It's so needless and so pace-breaking that it's it just got so tedious so quickly and that's such a shame. Because there were probably some really good fourth wall breaks in there. There were and some of them were, like, in fairness, some of the dialogue was actually pretty good. But because I was so sick and tired of the persistent self-referential nature of it, it did get stale quickly. Because I was so fed up with it, I was just kind of like trying to get through the dialogue as quickly as possible. Which means that you missed stuff. And because, of, and like, this isn't a fault of the game necessarily, this is my own fault for being impatient. But having to like span through it all, I didn't know what to do for some of the stuff. So it's... I don't know. It's similar to how... My feeling on ukulele is similar to how... Oh my god, we're in B. These are going to take us through till 10. You're absolutely right. <laughs> um, similar to what I was saying about Spyro yesterday, I think that this game kind of shot for the moon, but missed. Um, I don't think it's necessarily a bad game. I think with enough perseverance, it's perfectly fine. But I think it had the potential to be so much better than the products we've got. And like Year of the Dragon. I'm not desperate to come back and revisit this game. Um, like, I just... Yeah. Like, Banjo-Kazooie. Similar to what was the comparisons I was making yesterday between the first Spyro game and the third. The first, Ban Banjo-Kazooie, I would go back and play time and time again because it's fun and it's enjoyable. Whereas I don't think I would be encouraged to revisit this. And that's ignoring the fact that we got everything. I, that doesn't matter. I'd still play the, play a game again and 100% it again. I just don't think that this game has too much of a draw for me to come back. Like I say, I don't think the positives outweigh the negatives on this one. And it's a shame. That's not to say I didn't enjoy it. Don't get me wrong, there were certainly moments... I'm gonna... Just speed this up. Don't get me wrong, there were certainly moments... ...that sucked unbelievably. But I can overlook those enough. Like, I would give Ukulele like a 6 out of 10. I think. I think 6 is fair. Five is like, five is a game that I would come away from bored and no strong feelings one way or the other. Less than five would be like, that would be a game that I wouldn't finish, basically. Anything over five is a game that we've finished and can give a overriding fair review of. And... For the game's flaws, it did keep me entertained. I did enjoy playing it. But it didn't really blow me away much more than that. You know, like for comparison, Banjo-Kazooie I'd put as like a strong 8 or a 9. In terms of the Spyros, Year of the Dragon I would also put a 6. Ripto's Rage probably a 7. The first Spyro game is a very easy 9, possibly a 10, like possibly the perfect game in my opinion. Um, 
but I feel like six is fair. You got to see how many nicks there are. Do you reckon? Do you reckon I'll be there? I doubt it. I didn't give any money to this game, but that's the point as well. This game's been out for a long time. If you haven't found yourself in the credits yet, then like that—that's your problem. We're on Kyle's. I, I can't skip. It won't go any further than this. So this is as fast as we go. I'm actually getting kind of motion sick looking at it. It's kind of... I don't really like it. Alright, we're coming into the ends though. Oh, we're still on the MAs. The mats. A lot of mats. A lot of, lot of mats. What is this, carpet, right? Okay, now the Matthews. Max, Megan, Michael... Lots of Michaels. Heaps of Michaels. So many Michaels. Michelles, Mikes, Mickeys, Mings, Mitches, Moms. Oh, okay, we're into the ends. Nathans. Excuse me, sir. How dare you? Sneak that one in. <laughs> oh, here we, here we are. We're on, we're on to the Mies. We're on to the Mies. Okay. So, let's begin. We have loads of Nicks. Plenty of Nicholases. You love to see it. I wonder if there's a namesake for me here. No namesakes. There are two... There are two... There are two people just called Nicholas. There's a... <laughs> there are two Nicholases. And then we move on to the Nicks. <laughs> Laura Laura Nicks. Maybe there's a Nick namesake for me. And again, a couple of just nicks. There, there I am! There's a me! There's a me! There's a me! I'm in the credits! Even though I didn't give any money, any money I'm there! There's a me! <laughs> it's me! <laughs> it's not. I didn't back this game. I didn't even know about it. But, it's, it's nice to be acknowledged. Thank you. Let's move on now. <laughs> we need to get to the end. We're on the O's. We're nearly there. <laughs> oh, dear me. Oh, it feels good to be at the end. I'm glad to be able to move on to something else. Now, as I was saying towards the start of the stream, we have been non-stop collectathons recently, so I'm looking forward to moving on to something else. Do you want to see if let's see, let's see if Rach is there as well? See all these people ducking out of the stream early. They don't they don't get to find out. We can't see if they we can't see if Nay's here anymore because I don't want to go all the way back to N. We could see if Sean's in here though. I also also am not going all the way back for J either. It also doesn't count because he's got a double-barreled surname, so that's even more unlikely. Right, where are we? Okay, we are definitely, we got the Rages. Oh, no, no, no namesake, it seems. Just, just, just Rachel's. But, but no, no, sur, no surname namesakes. We'll see, we'll see if there's a Sean, and then... Skip through till the very end. Oh my god, my eyes, you know, my eyes. Oh. It's very surprising considering how popular the surname is. Yeah. It's weird. Okay, we're into the S's now. Where are we? Sean. Spelt the traditional way. As in the bean. Okay, here we are. Sean's here as well! 
Sean's here! Congratulations, Sean! You made it! You made it into the credits! Congratulations! I'm in the credits. Morgan's here! We did indeed finish it. <laughs> it's part of the reason why I don't care about my full name being online, because good luck finding me. But yes, we did indeed finish it, Morgan. We're now just scanning through the credits to see if people are here. Me and Sean are in the credits, but I don't know about anybody. This the, the credits have been going on for about 20 minutes now, and 15 minutes of it has just been the Kickstarter backers here, so I'm not I'm not scro I, I can't scroll all the way back to M Morgan. It, it'll take so long. <laughs> I what I'll I'll I'm go I'll check the VOD. I'll go through the VOD and see. If if Morgan's there, because I the this is so this is the fastest it scrolls, and it's still st still taken twenty odd minutes. So I'll I'll have a look in the vod. I mean, if it's scrolling past like this, then I've got no chance of knowing either. You'll just have to play the game for yourself. Anyway, here we are. We're at the end of the alphabet. However, we've probably got numbers to come now. Thanks for playing! No, thank you for making. And we are done. After 25 hours. The only thing we have, have potentially got to do is Rextro's Arcade. If there's any additional games in there, but I, I think we're done. I'm happy to say that ukulele is completed. And so, to that end, achievements. Are there any achievements we didn't get? Not that I'm going to go back and get them, but keep playing. Mm. It doesn't tell you. I mean, it didn't actually tell us we got any of these. So... I don't know. Oh well. Never mind. A couple achievements that we don't know about, so we can't deal with, but never mind. Never mind. I think we are done here. We are finished with ukulele. And perfectly timed as well, more or less, with ten minutes to go. That is going to wrap up this evening's stream. And indeed, that is also going to wrap up ukulele. We are finished. And boy, does it feel good. <laughs> it does feel good indeed. As per usual, everybody, thank you so very, very much for coming and hanging out this evening, for dropping bits, for resubs as well. Had a couple of resubs come through, which is very much appreciated. Um, what's going down? Tomorrow we have got more Portal 2. And then, uh, I guess I've got to think about what we should play next week. don't know. I'll have a little look. I'll see what people want and what I have available, and we shall go from there. We shall indeed raid the mighty Egg, our Lord and Egg Saviour, doing some artistic work at the moment. So we shall certainly go over and say hello. Let's get that underway. As I say, everybody, thank you very much. I will hopefully see you all tomorrow for a little bit more Portal 2. Otherwise, maybe at some point next week. Have a wonderful evening. If you are not joining us, if you are coming with us for the raid, then I will see you over there. He's doing your emote. Oh no, is that spoilers? Well, let's, let's, let's go over and say hello. Everybody, good night, and see you soon. Bye.